disembodied hand you know and I don't always get respect right off the bat because people they just think that because you're just a disembodied hand then what you, it's just ridiculous that you would even want to wear makeup or anything like that but here I am being myself and I suggest that you do the same oh thank you very much Wally ladies and gentlemen Please give it up for Wally. He's our sound effects guy. We would very much like it if you would join us in becoming a part of history by making a hand the very first ever hand to have one million YouTube subscribers. So will you please like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. la di yada da 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 Anyways, there's a little song I wrote to help you try to remember. Okay, am I on? Um, yes. <clears throat> so you remember you got the script? Yes. Okay, let's give it a try. Can we give it a try? All right. Hello. My name is... Um, I think I need you to be more... It's like, Hello, my name is Missy Handsome, and I'm here to take over the world. Well, I don't really want to take over the world. Well, I know that, but it's just a figure of speech. I'm not no weirdo trying to take over the world. I know, Mitzi. I just want to make it clear I don't want to take over the world. But I want you to like, subscribe, slap, and holler. How's that? Wow, that was great. That was like a song. Well, I could make it into a song. You can? Well, you know I can. You know I like to make songs. All right. How would it go? Well, I think I would tell the people, I would ask them, if you would like to please help us out and be part of the, wor the world world hit making making world history and the very first hand to ever ever be a worldwide star and receive a million one million subscribers on the youtube wow wow okay is that good well all right um but you have the script right yes okay i will give you the script scripts. i need you to go over the scripts well, I thought we were going to just do makeup, and it was just going to be a makeup test. And we were going to do the other things later. That, that's why I put my eyeballs on. Because otherwise, I could talk without my eyeballs. But if you're going to do makeup on me, then I, I, I so needed to glue these eyeballs on my face, on, my, on myself. Okay, well, um, you know what? I'm going to get some scripts, and I'll come back. Well, all right. Well, I guess we can do that, but we're still going to do the makeup, right? Probably. Okay. Sugar Bean, would you please like, subscribe, slap the bell, and holler at us. Just says, holler at me. Say hello, Mitzi. Hello, Mitzi. I would love to hear from you. So you like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. Wow! I told you I could make a song quick. So, I get to do the makeup, right? Um, well, this, you still have to, can you please do the script, please? All right. 
So thanks for watching. Stick around. <clears throat> Stick around for more of me later. But now, for a review. He's boo. Did you like that? Yeah, wow, Mitzi. This is a great rehearsal. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, is it time for the makeup? Um, let me see. I think if you don't mind, I think I do have some other scripts. <sighs> I like this job so far, but I thought there was going to be more makeup. There is, there is, there is. Okay, we'll be back. Like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Like, subscribe, slap, holler. Now I get to do the makeup, right? I sang too. I'm very excited. I know that I'm going to get my makeup done, and I don't get my makeup done that often. I'm going to start off. I'm just going to give you a little bit of this uh, Camille Hand Cream uh, Intensive. I really like it. Well, all right, it's not the face cream, though. But, yeah, but you know how it is. Your, your, your skin's a little bit different than my face. Well, all right, if you say so. Yeah, cause it looks a little bit dry. Oh. That does feel a lot better. Mm. All right, now what we're going to do? I think maybe next we need to put your, we need to draw on your eyes. Well, I have eyes already. They googly one. They go like this. I like them. I think they help my personality sort of shine. Because I feel googly inside. But sometimes I act more serious than people. They think I'm too serious. Sometimes. Be careful. Don't poke me in the eye. <laughs> A little bit difficult to do but I thought why not you know why not try well um I don't know um I guess it's all right I'm sorry Mitzi I mean a little bit and it's not exactly the best look is it hmm I was hoping for makeup makeup that's okay well we'll get there Alright, well, I, I suppose that's an okay look for now. Y'all going to put makeup on, right? Yes. Well, let's do some lips. Okay. sure it's gonna be sometimes people say the makeover is gonna be good but then the makeover is strange and mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing how all this turns out. So I'm just trying to go in and <clears throat> redefine Mitzi's eyes a little bit. As I used the brown before, that's the only flesh color that I have. I don't want to put too much dark eyeliner on her features. Um, because I want the makeup to show up. Oh yeah, we don't want to do the eyebrows. And I don't really want to do that to the lips. But I think I will just a little bit. No, I won't. I'll just, no I won't. I'll end up doing that with some other stuff here. Well, I feel like I look 
Well, I definitely look more. Um, I look more something. I I'm looking forward to the makeup. All right, Mitzi. Here we go. This is what I'm using for um, Mitzi's face. Ah! Um. And what I think is so cool about these, I, one end you got this little blunt guy that you can do a lot of stuff with. I mean, I know you know. I don't have to tell you. Everybody loves office supplies. I'm not the only one. But then wait, on the other side, you got this really thin tip. And I really like having both choices. They It just comes in handy in so many ways. But all right, I'll do my this <laughs> I think I'm ready for lunch. Okay, Mitzi. I've been waiting a while, you know, to have my makeup done. Yes, you have. You've been really patient. Are we using that Revlon one? Yes. I like that one a lot. I like the smoky eye look. All right, here we go, right? It looks like you're taking out the makeup now. So let's take away the pins. Yes. So... All right, let's see. Should we put the palette here so people can see the palette too? Well, I like to be on camera by myself without, without you know, all the people trying to steal my spotlight. I like to, well, that's why I'm here, because I like to, I kind of like to be on the, on the stage sometimes. Oh dear Mitzi, let's see, what are we going to do? I'm looking at you through here. All right. All right, I think I'm going to go in with one of these really, really light, beautiful light colors in here. I know, I'll put it here. You can kind of see it there. I'm not the star now. Yes, you are. Okay, here we go. Was this brush clean? I'm not sure. It should be. I just washed all these brushes. Hmm, that's all right. Is that what they call carving out? I think so. That tickles. I can't breathe. I realize that you didn't give me a nose this time. What are you doing? You want to... What are you doing now? You want to... I want you to... Well, I guess that'll teach me to talk about not having a nose. You want to give me some little tiny, tiny, tiny... No, 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 please, I don't want a bigger nose. I just... All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Carry on with the makeup, and please. Okay, so now... Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go in with this nice smoky color. Mm, I, I always feel I have good results with the smoky colors. Here we go. La, 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 I like that already. It looks better. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Now, I know that these people probably think it's strange for someone to be doing makeup on, on a hand, but they don't see my views and they don't know my plans. They think because I'm a hand that I don't have a point of view, but oh, you made a mistake. Yes, I did. I got to go in there and fix that, huh? Would you please? Oh, I don't think I fixed it. I'm sorry. Well, I knew it was all an experiment. All right. Well, I guess that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some lips. And I didn't bring any lip liner in here. That doesn't matter. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to use 
Oh, well, that was not a good idea. What did you did you put the lip brush in the eyeliner the other way around? Yes. All right, I'm not gonna say anything. I suppose it's a mistake anybody could make. Right. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I found a good one to use. I think that looks good. I like that one. It's not a real lip brush. All right, well, that's okay as long as we get somewhere. Here we go. We're going somewhere. This is a red lipstick from that Le Revlon kit. Yes. Mm, I like it. I love Revlon products. I know. It's a little bit different putting on lip color when you're a hand. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Mitzi, I'm sorry. I cheated you out of some lower lip. Well, I, I know it's all an experiment. I'm trying not to move my mouth too much while I respond to what you're saying. Oh, I like that. That's coming together nicely. I love makeup. I'm overdrawing. I know. Yeah, that does look better. Don't color outside the line too much. There, that feels a little better. I feel a little bit prettier there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, you say this is this Revlon? Yes, it is. And actually, let's continue on with more eyes. So I went in and I did some stuff to Mitzi's eyes. <clears throat> I like it much better now. It was a little bit lacking before. I don't take it personally. I know. Thank you. Now I'm going to go in with this uh, Annabelle Stay Sharp Self Sharpening in Glam Red. Ooh, I love glam! Just going to try to go over this. I probably shouldn't have done that brown pen. Because it sort of stayed there even after I tried to get rid of it. And now I sort of have to go over Mitzi's lip line to make it look good. And then on the bottom I'm going to draw outside of Mitzi's line like this. Should probably make it more defined really with the lip liner. That's what lip liner does. I'm probably going to get a call from Annabelle or please don't show our products. Well, what do you mean? Do you mean that they won't think I'm pretty enough to wear their products? No, that's not what I mean at all. Well, all right then, because you know I could take that personally. I love Annabelle products, quite honestly. I find that so a lot of times I, I might buy some expensive products, but I love the Annabelle product because many... Excuse me. I'm speaking because many of the times, uh, you know, you just need something in Annabelle. They're there for you. They're there... Mm, they're there for you at a reasonable price. It's okay now. Yes, go ahead. This is like too much information for all these people. They don't want to read my palm. Okay. You're throwing your voice into mine. I don't like it. Can I have my real voice back, please? <clears throat> I, s I, <clears throat> I said... Can I please have, 
Thank you. Boy, what a girl has to go through to just get some makeup done. All right. Well, I think that's pretty good for now. I like it too. I think it's pretty. I feel pretty. I feel glammed up. I'm ready for my. I'm ready for my close up now, Mr. DeMille. Okay. People don't get that, you know. That's. I know that's from the old movie era from a long time ago, but maybe I could tell some of these youngsters about it. About the old days of the movie stars and and such. Okay, um, oh yeah, I know what else. There's more! Yes, we're gonna open up this Revlon case again. Mm-hmm. I think that I prefer for my lips to be maybe a little more even, but I overall I like it. I like the eyes. It's not Revlon's fault. I know. Here. Put a little bit of blush on you up here. Blush. Just using my... Should I just use... No, 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 no. See, because this... You know what? This got a little bit of a bad rap. Because this blush looks so light. But actually, when you use the brush, I found that it did do a pretty good job on my skin. And it's, uh, you know, buildable. Oh, see there, it looks like I'm fibbing. I think it gives me color. I think it gives me some more color, which is good. Makes me feel peachy. I feel so peachy. I could sing. I could sing. Okay. Anyhow. So there we go. And stop that. You're doing that to make me annoyed. I am not. So, you know what you remind me of right now? Am I going to want to know? Yes, of course. You remind me of a movie star from like really, really long time ago. Her name was Clara Bow. Clara Bow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I remember Clara. I mean, I heard of Clara Bow. I don't remember Clara Bow. She was before my time by quite a bit, you know. But let's look at this beautiful palette. You know what? I want to try on some of that beautiful gloss. I like the gloss too. But I I don't have... This is so silly. I try to be more prepared. I know I was here when you were trying to be prepared. It was good. But I think maybe, you know, you could do... Excuse me! I think maybe you could do better. Okay, I'm going in with this really pretty gloss. Oh, no! Look what you did! I told you to be careful with those. Okay, it's all right. I'm going to get some on anyways. Oh, yes, I like that. That is nicer. There. I feel... I don't know. Do they still say fleek? I feel fleek. I don't care. I'm going to use the word anyway. I feel so fleeky. I feel so fleeky. Thank you. That's our can left a Wally, ladies and gentlemen. He does a fantastic job. And he doesn't get paid hardly at all. Don't tell people that. All right. I thought that it wasn't a secret. All right, Mitzi. Well, should we give you a little bit more brow action? Yes. I feel a little bit kind of funny with these thin brows. Is that what you meant by Clara? If I look up Clara Bow, is she going to have these really thin, thin eyebrows like this? Because... It's not in style right now to have the thin, thin eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to go in with my um, Annabelle smudge liner. And I'm just going to give her a little more brows. Just a tiny bit. Oops. Oh. Well, I, I like it. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, 
Is it time for me to go ahead and do the rest of my skit? Yes, it is. Where's my script? Hi again. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I had a little bit of a... Uh, something happened in my... My... My reporter was all of a sudden not recording. So I'm just going to pick up where I was, which was using Lap of Luxury from Hard Candy, which I think is really gorgeous. And uh, I, I've, I'm i using these, trans these shades here. They're more transition shades. I think I'm going to go in with, let's see, should I come? That one is a little bit too shiny for me, I've found in the past. Oh, did it stop? Nope, it's still on. Okay. You know what? No, I think I've changed my mind. I'm going to go in with something lighter. Something lighter. Okay. Um, these ones up here, they don't have any individual colors. And this one down here, I think I'm going to give myself a little bit of the... I, I, excuse me, I'm going to have to position, learn to position everything correctly here. Because I know you can't see me as well as I like you to. all three, mixing all three, because um, one of them is uh, more matte and the other two are more frosty. And I think I'll put a little bit right right there too. And a little Sight, sight. Okay, so that's pretty fun. Now I think I want to go in with something darker, and I've got so many beautiful choices. You know what? Look at that. Isn't that stunning? That is called uh, Don't Dull My Shine. That's one of the other hard candy ones that came in that blockbuster. And um, it's gone now. I don't think you can get... You can't get the Blockbuster anymore, I don't think, but I but you can still get some of these palettes, I know. They're slightly different, but most of all the color story is the same. This one is so exciting because this green color is actually a green with blue in it. That's what I said. So I'm going to uh, change out my brush now. Brush, brush, brush. It's been a while since I did this kind of stuff on a regular basis. Ah, here we go. This one, I've had this brush for years. It's this Revlon, um, like a fluffy slanted brush. And I'm going to go in with that really amazing green and blue color. And I'm going to go ahead and do my... It does have a little bit of um, sparkle to it. I'm just going to go in the outer corners and upward. But it is an um, incredible color. It's nice too because, you know... When you think about what these companies are, like, what risks they're taking when they manufacture an oddball color that not everybody might like, you know, they're they're spending money to, to take a chance that people might be willing to spend their hard-earned money. And no matter who you are, you ain't letting go of that cash easily. I really like this color. There used to be this book when I was, back in the day when I was working in cosmetics. I'm just going to use a little more, but look at all those other beautiful choices. This blue is really pretty too. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this other blue back. Don't dull my shine. You know, the only time I ever remember having a palette like this, well, and then that big elf palette, um, was back when Ultima 2 used to do the, um, the blockbusters themselves. And they were known for their color first. They were an upscale Revlon. They're still around. I think that, I think though that their main market is in Korea now. And I'm so excited. I'm so, I was so excited to find that they're still in, that they're still in business because, um, I really, really loved their products. 
Um, as did I love all of the products I ever worked with. There was nobody whose products disappointed me. Um, and some I loved more than others, but I mean, I respected all of the cosmetic companies and the designers involved and just everything about it. It was always fun and interesting. And Okay, so I think maybe I better, I know all this is going kind of slowly. I think um, I need to, I need to try to like pull, pull it together fast because I know that I'm not impressing you with this look so far. Not that I'll impress you anyways, but <laughs> I'm not impressing myself. Okay, I gotta grab a hold of a, of a liner that is sharpened because I did not think ahead. You know what, actually, I'm moving in on my NYX Ombre Blush. Isn't that cool? I think that is majorly cool more than one color in a blush and it's kind of large you know there's a nice big mirror in there it's kind of a large blush like this is zero b zero one feel the heat probably discontinued by now but i've had this for about two years so i think i'm going to just take a little bit a little bit and go way up here oh wow see it's really pigmented it goes on quite nicely but you know I've found that since I'm not 22 or 32 I'll say no more up here is where it's at for the for the colors for the um you just want everything to be lifted anytime you draw attention to anything down here it pulls the whole face down Oh, I really do love the colors of this. This reminds me of a Christian Dior blush I used to have, and I don't remember the name of it, but I lost it. Oh, it was so horrible. I lost it. You know, this this beautiful high-end makeup, you, oh, you treasure it so much. And I did not lose much, I'm telling you. I am careful with my stuff. I am not careless because, because I've always had to, not always, but like most of the time I have to, I have to pay for my own stuff or get my own thing or, but I, I actually I have a really great husband who's really nice to me and who is really sympathetic and and uh, listens considerately as I talk about makeup and uh, you know is really supportive of me doing this because also too, like I said, I really don't know uh, how long I'm going to be able to see. I think it's going to be fine. But the doctor said five years if I don't go on this medication. And I really don't want to go on this medication because it says, it says that it, it can cause bleeding from the eyes. It can cause blindness. And when I told him that, he, or when I told him that I was nervous about it, he said, well... I said, is there anything else I might be able to use? And he said, like what? Um, oh, so by the way, I'm going to put on this Adrian, Adrian Vitadini Studio Black Mascara. This is from a blockbuster I got last year. And uh, it's just about at the end of its run. But man, I don't know who the heck. I try to look up Adrian Vitadini to find out, do they have a cosmetic line? Uh, and I, what, I, what I think I've discovered is that um, some, you know, brands some brands are available for licensing and I think someone licensed it and put some makeup in there license the Adrian Vitadini name I mean Vitadini um, and um, you know put out a blockbuster with the Adrian Vitadini name which was a fantastic little blockbuster I got it at Winners which is where I got most of my stuff here in Canada um, And I have found that this mascara is one of the best mascaras I have ever used. And if I knew how I could get it again, I would for sure go find it. And I do not, and it's not waterproof, which I usually wear waterproof mascara because, 
I'm just the kind of person who cries all of a sudden. Like, I, a feeling will grip me, or a song, I'll hear a song, or I'll just see something. Or I'll get nostalgic, like, in the ice cream aisle about a flavor I ate long ago. Or just something weird, you know? I, I'm always like that. I'm so ultra-emotional about things like that. A leaf will fall from a tree, like, in the sunset. And, and the glint of light will remind me of something from childhood. And there I'm, like, sobbing. By the way, speaking of sobbing... Um, I'm not really a football fan, but I, I, wa I watched the halftime game for the Super Bowl 2021. We're, no, we're 2022, aren't we? <laughs> and, um, it was with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Mary J. Blige. And, um, it really made me cry because it, I used to live in Los Angeles in the 90s and in the, I, I grew up there in Orange County, um, and I remember when that music was around, I was pumping my stereo, driving around all over the freeways, going to my different gigs, and going to my jobs, and going to school, and all the stuff I was doing, and it was so much fun, it was so much fun, and that music was like the soundtrack of that time, and I'll tell you what, I loved that Eminem took a knee, I loved that, I think, uh, it was a, a really considerate thing to do, and I think that it was also a very manly, masculine, important gesture. And, uh, that's what I'll say. So, oh, but this mascara. If any of you out there are sleuths about... <laughs> By the way, if you know of a really awesome, uh, well, it doesn't have to be well-priced. It could be expensive or, well, or inexpensive mascara that you love. Waterproof or non, let me know. The best, please let me know. This one, of course, Great Lash, waterproof. This is the one I'm using most of the time. Even on gigs. It's just, man, there it is. And you gotta replace it often. So it's not one of those things that you normally wanna spend a lot of money on. But I did recently get a $33 Elizabeth Arden mascara. I'm so excited. And that's something coming up I'm going to share with you. But I'm um, I'm saving that because i got to do some pictures and stuff first. Because I'm so excited. It's been a long time since I spent that kind of money for the, the more expensive uh, makeup. Because, you know, people and people used to say like, oh... Does it make a difference? Does the more expensive makeup make a difference? And I'd have to say absolutely yes and absolutely no. It depends on what you're looking for. And by the way, that is just some mint tea. I think it's called Pitta, and it has mostly mint in it, and oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the maker of it. It might be Tetley, but uh, anyhow, you know what? Here's something cool that I got. It's called L'Oreal High Intensity Pigments Nouveau. There's a blue and a really stark matte shadow duo in this really neat white color. I'm going to go in with my... I'm going to go back in with my, um, I like this one. I like, I love this little guy came from a Profusion blockbuster that I got last year that I'm excited to share with you too. It's great because it's got the white on the tips, so I never forget which one am I using for that. Yeah, that's kind of cute. See, I got this because I knew this white was going to be badass. Now, 
now I think I'm gonna do wood. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. What you gonna do, baby? Baby. <laughs> so just messing around. Chair dance break. You know we all got a chair dance. If you have to sit down anyways. Okay. So, you know what I think I'm going to do? Um, I feel like that's not really enough. And I feel like it's because I'm not commandeering my, my eyeliners. And my, uh, my dark shadows, that's right. So I think I'm going to go with this elf guy here. And there is there are no smoke shades in my... Hmm. You know what? Change my mind. I'm going in with my uh, Maybelline... Color show coal in ma Matita Oki. I think that that means black. <laughs> it's probably French. I'm sorry that I don't know it. I'm not from Canada, so I wasn't taught French. I'm Canadian by, by mariage. But I'm from California. Oh, someone's coming down the hill. I think they can see me doing the makeups. Because I have my window open. People can see the ring light. They probably be like, what is she doing? What is that lady think she's doing up there? What is that lady doing up there? Also, my hard candy, this was in that little blockbuster, which was super cool. The huge blockbuster. This is super cool because it's a little tiny travel size blush. Oh no, am I losing some? I am losing some, but there's quite a bit in there. And I have my little travel kit. And so it's in my travel kit. You know, my little five minute face kit. And I reach for it all the time. I did not do any, um, bronzer, so I have another cool thing that came in the, uh, hard candy blockbuster, it was this little tiny bronzer, bronzer, just glow, bronzer and mango butter, $17.92, and this is so cool, because it's actually more like a contour because there's no spark no sh shimmer no sparkle in it I have this little thing going on here so I'm trying to, but I've always done this, even before I had it. I've just always, it just always looks nicer to have a more firm, straight jawline. By the way, if you want your jawline to look more firm and straight, no matter your age, in pictures, try to hold the top of your tongue, the back of your tongue, to the top roof of your mouth. Watch this.
Anyways, may or may not be interesting information to you. So, I think I'm just about done here. Um, I could probably do some more lippy. I know. Um, yeah. So, oh, I have a stuff mystery. So, um, okay, I have a stuff mystery. Um, the other day, my husband and I were at the thrift store, and I got a bag of watches. And I pulled one out there, out of there, and they were broken, and I think that's interesting. And I just thought, oh, they're kind of cool, there's a lot of cool ones in there. And this one was in there. A really really pretty watch right so my husband kind of did this little temporary fix with some black tape on it and I'm not I'm not really looking to wear it right now but I just thought well, that's really really cool right and I and I was looking at it and I started looking at the back and I saw on on the watch band I don't know if you can see right there what it says it says Chopard famous fashion house Chopard they're famous for fragrances they're famous for watches and when I, I didn't know this but when I looked up Chopard watches all the watches looked like this one not exactly but a similar style like and I and I didn't quite realize that I'm familiar with Chopard fragrances but I wasn't familiar I didn't really realize that they were a big name in watches they're like the biggest name in what one of the biggest name in watches and this one, there's no indication on it that it's actually um, a really expensive watch. It just looks really cool, and it looks really expensive. I should let you get a close-up of it. It is a beautiful, beautiful little watch. But there's no indication on it that it's actually a Chopard watch, except for that little um, the indication on this uh, band. So here's what I'm wondering. Is I know because when I used to work in fragrance that a lot of times the fragrance companies will give you they'll give you a gift um, like Galan I have a really cool pin from I have when I worked for sorry from Galan I have a pin from Dior I have working for Dior they gave us a charm bracelet with little Dior a few Dior charms on it and one of them that I have is Dune because I think that they gave us that on the launch of Dune. That's how long ago it was. So I still have that. So what I'm wondering is, um, and, and sometimes the cosmetic companies or the fragrance companies, they would do a, a, a promotion where there'd be like a gift set at Christmas or something, and there might be like, um, you know, such a thing as the fragrance for like a, a, um, a designer fragrance. And then there'd be like a little watch in there or something in it that wouldn't necessarily be like, you know, a watch made by that designer, but it would be something that was made that had the the fragrance or the product name on it somewhere. It was it was part of a promotion, and I think that is so cool because that is the kind of thing you can't buy. So I'm just wondering if any of you out there might know about this particular stuff mystery. If any of you ever worked for Chopard, or you have any of these, or you know when it was, or if you have a picture of the gift set, or if it was a gift set or a gift, or I have some cool stuff to share with you guys to show you that, like I said, I got when I worked for these companies, and also when I got them by other means too. So um, let me know if you have anything like that. Even you can even like take a picture if you can if you want to leave it because I am fascinated by this kind of stuff because that is truly. That's the real treasure to me because it's really hard to get. You only could get it under special circumstances. Oh my gosh, I just remembered one of my favorite things that I have that I got from the fragrance companies. Uh, back in the day, Karl Lagerfeld had a fragrance called KL for women. Uh, I think he had it for men too, but for women. It's this beautiful, spicy fragrance. It was very similar. I think it was supposed to be like a competitor for opium. And it's, oh, it's so gorgeous. I actually, I, I have a, a vintage bottle of the, of the Parfum. But um, the thing about it is I remember uh, they used to throw these lavish parties at, at Christmas time. And um, I remember at Christmas we got, I got a bottle of KL and a pair 
of Carl Lagerfeld fan earrings, and I still have them. I don't know if I have them in my, I don't know if I have them here, I might have them in storage, but I will show those to you too, because it's one of those things I'm so glad I still have, because like Carl Lagerfeld recently passed away, and he's just like such a, a big part of fashion history, and his products, his fragrances, they were around through so much of my time in, um, in fragrance and cosmetics, and all of that. So I just, I think that that was cool, but he's not the only one. Like, like I said, I got some stuff from Guerlain and some stuff from, uh, from Dior and, um, yeah. So if you know of anything like that, or you were involved, um, with sales or anything like that, or if you know about that watch, please let me know. So I think I'm getting towards done because... Um, I don't really know what else to do. Yes, I do. Here's my Borghese, Borghese, Borghese B Colorful Moisturizing Lipstick Crayon in, um, Rosa. Rosa. Wait a minute. Do I want Rosa? Okay, yes. Rosa. Borghese. A, uh, a company, another company that was one of those really well-respected ones that we had at, behind the counter back in the day. Um, and... It was really, it was one of those that, and, and for, for some reason at that time it was called Princess Marcella Borghese. Now they just call it Borghese. They don't call it, they don't, it seems like they don't associate with the Princess Marcella Borghese. So I'm just going to do a little bit of line there. And there's really no, it's no big deal because if my husband and I still go out, we're just going to go out and probably grab some dinner or take out, not inside because we're not interested in uh, tempting COVID for ourselves or others. We're vaxxed, but still, we're cool with chilling for now. Um, okay, so I think that's good for now. Anyways, there's a bunch of stuff. And I, I'm one of these people that just looks better with my hair up on top of my head. <laughs> I've never really been able to figure out a good hairstyle for myself. So, I just go all in on crazy looking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I try to look nice too, and I'm sure that you do too. Hey, thank you so much for joining me because I still don't know what I'm doing here, and thank you for helping me with my personal journey and my psycho psychology journey. And, you know, write anything you want. Please remember to, uh, actually, if you want to, like, subscribe, slap, and holler. Please help. Oh, no. All this time I didn't have Mitzi there. What a dang shame. But you can't see her anyways because my light is in the way. I apologize for the Mickey Mouse operation. <clears throat> I think that's how we're all doing it though, right? Mickey Mouse. What's very Mickey Mouse around here? Nobody really knows what's going on. No one's seen Walt in a while. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. So let me know what... Uh... Oh yeah, do you have a mascara that you really, really love? High end, low end, whatever. Because I have found, um, like people, I have found that um, more often than not, the amount you spend on a product really doesn't have everything to do with the quality of the product or necessarily how much you are gonna like the product. I find usually what things are about is are you a person who wants to spend the money for that product? Like when you're, when you want to buy your Chanel fragrance, you're not settling for something else. When you want to buy your Dior eyeshadow, you're not settling for something else. That's not your time to settle for something else. You want that thing because you want that thing. But that doesn't mean that that thing is necessarily so much superior to something that would cost far less. Same thing with fashion. 
I, I'm all for spending a lot of money on fashion if that is what you want. But I don't think that a person who can't or doesn't want to spend a lot of money on fashion or makeup um, is lesser, uh, less of a person or um, less worthy of respect or less classy or any of those things. I don't think that money has anything to do with class. Okay, but then there's this guy, you know. But these have always been weird, you know. The first times that I, I used them, I was like terrified and of course poked myself in the eye a few times, but there's just nothing like these to make your eyes look better and bigger and... Has it been a minute? I don't think it's been a minute. Here I go. I'm doing it anyways. You see? It's like there's no comparison. The other lashes are already losing their curl. I'm gonna sit here for like a minute and then it's like, oh, it loses the curl so fast. That's okay, you know what? That's enough. That's good for now. I'm just going out grocery, stuff like that. So, yeah, well, anyways, thank you very much for joining me and I hope that you had fun or at least like, I don't know, got something beneficial out of this because I know I did. So thank you very much. See you next time. I loved you so. You did me wrong. Somehow I knew it all along. Carbs. I reached for you. When I was sad, you left me feeling oh so bad. Carbs. But now I'm strong. I overcame. My love for you was too insane. But now and then, I still miss you. Carbs. That last line didn't rhyme well I don't care it's how I really feel can you not see that I'm about to cry telling this because it's a true story I feel that Cobbs are not my friend they don't like me at all ever since I was very young and I first discovered Cobbs well I don't exactly remember the day or time but it was probably some pasta or some rice or something like that that is supposed to be healthy for you but then I, oh I can't finish this I, I gotta get out here and go have a low carb snack. <laughs> Talk to the hand.